Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we are continuing our journey of learning motion graphics in Blender and today we're going to be making this Pringles commercial using Blender and uh, yeah so most of this is going to be procedural so let's just jump in our uh, project first is going to be on my Gumroad, my Patreon page and my YouTube membership page links are going to be in the description to start off you, you can find yourself a good reference like this I'll be adding links in the description so let's start with a, a plane like this and add a subdivision surface of level 2 go to edit mode and add a subdivision there add a subdivision there maybe scale this up and just drag this up and then something like this I think this is a good chip and the next thing I want to do is add some of this bump detail you can do sculpting but I think that would take too much time so what I'm going to do is first add some thickness to this by using a solidify modifier and just push the thickness a bit like that and uh, I also want this to be more smooth so I'm going to add another a second subdivision surface on top of the first one so subdivision surface so that things are much smoother now the next thing we could do is add some of these bumps I don't want to sculpt any of those bumps and uh, bumps from a texture would not capture light or create a silhouette like this so I needed some polygon based uh, bumps so to do that I what I did is created a bump with a cube added subdivisions shade smooth and apply the subdivisions you can delete the bottom half so we have something like this and I can extrude this and I just give it a more yeah create a bump I'll like that now we can select our chip create a new geometry node setup distribute points on faces so something like that I want to see my original mesh so I'm just going to bring this and join this to this with a join geometry node so I can see uh, both the points and my original mesh now the next thing I can do is bring in this bump by using an instance on points that detail connect that and we have something like that now the orientation of this is off but uh, good enough the distribute points has a rotation node so I can connect that and I should have that the scale is too much so I can scale this down I don't want uh, the same scale I want a random scale so I'll use a random value like that and just have something like that we need quite a few bumps so this is uh, what we have but uh, what I want to show you here before we go any further is that uh, we want to instance this as a particle on our particle system and uh, for the particle system I'm also starting with a mesh give it a subdivisions and I just insert and push it up just a bit uh, because I want the normals to be a bit directional so they're not just pointing up they are also pointing up outwards a bit like that so our particles can be shot out like that as well now if I give this a particle system so all just fall down I go to the velocity increase this to something like 10 you can see our particles shoot up the end frame should be around 8 uh, the lifetime should be the length of your timeline so 250 yeah something like that my velocity is too much so let's do 5 yeah something like that is good enough but uh, I want them to shoot up and then hang around for a bit but before we do that let's change these from particles from those white dots to our object so I'm just going to go to object render object and then select this and uh, you will notice that uh, the bumps we created are not being added here and uh, I think the particle system does not recognize these instances so what we can do is come here and just realize this mesh and uh, that way the particles are also added to the simulation so that gives us a much more rich chip then the next thing I want to have some random rotation from these so I'm going to go under a, a rotation turn on rotation just randomize these randomize everything a bit and turn on dynamic give this some angular velocity as well let's simulate this again I see another thing I did is made the Pringle a Pring, Pringle casing Pringle cylinder a collision object so that these objects can collide with this and uh, just add in some extra detail at around here I want the particles to just 
hang around in the air in slow motion to go into slow motion and then they can fall uh, as a result of gravity so that requires us to admit uh, some settings here like the uh, gravity value so at first we don't even need to have any gravity so i'm going to just turn that off and keyframe that and at around here i can yeah so so it's off it goes off uh, which makes our particles shoot up even further because they are not being uh, slowed down by gravity so let me reduce the normal velocity a bit okay so something like that is good enough put this into slow motion all you have to do is go under physics and uh, play with the dump so if i animate the dump so at around here frame 20 i can just increase the dump to one and uh, that should slow down things to a halt as you can see at, uh, I don't want them to slow down completely so I'll just do 0.5 keyframe and you can see I like that uh, it seems our lifetime should be the length of the timeline so let's bring that back up yeah you have to play with the animation uh, quite a lot to get the results you want but uh, I can even just gradually slow this down as you can see that's a much better results but uh, yeah I just wanted to show you mostly how to get those points instance there but uh, we are not really done with the chip uh, so for now let me first disable this uh, the particle system and uh, everything so that we can continue working on this so one thing we are lacking on this is that uh, they don't really look as good as my original version uh, so because we still need to add some detail to this uh, for example we need to add bumps so i'm going to come in here and add a noise texture texture and use a set position the way i usually add bump is i usually just use a normal map connect that to the offset and that pushes things out like that scale this down using a vector math and uh, change this to scale and then use the noise factor uh, I need to subtract uh, 0.5 so you can see we have some detail now the issue we're having here is we can't have these instances have the same noise or bump detail as the chip uh, this chip here as they both have uh, different scales so for example if I just go back here and uh, Yes, turn off these instances, these points for, for a bit. You can see what we're having. And I, I might even need to subdivide this mesh here because uh, it needs uh, a bit more detail. This. So I'm just going to come in here, scale this noise. This level of scale or this level of detail would be enough for this chip. But uh, if I tried applying this on just the instances, the, the same noise on the instances you can see it doesn't give us uh, the same level of detail so we need to have a separate noise for each of these things and uh, also the subdivisions you don't want to apply the subdivisions on these instances because that's just going to slow things down quite a lot uh, it's not really necessary so this subdivision this subdivision should just be for the for this mesh here and uh, these this noise should also just be for the mesh so to create that separation i can come here and use a capture attribute and just capture the index of these polygons that make up this mesh so i can just capture that this is an integer so i'll just drop that in there now if i look at that and uh, with everything you can see i'm i'm just creating a selection of that mesh and uh, that is the selection i want to use here so only the main mesh is getting those bumps but I will also need to give them some bumps. So what I'm going to do is just create another, just duplicate this and uh, repeat the same step. Only this time, uh, this should be in the offset. Only this time the scale is, the noise scale is going to be quite small. Uh, something I think like that. But uh, we don't want this noise to affect the other mesh. So I'm just going to reuse the same selection. But because this selection selects the bigger mesh, I can use the Boolean math node operation and change this to not to give me the opposite, to just give me the other mesh, the smaller dots. I can reduce the strength of this noise. Okay, now we can go to the materials. 
So I'm going to come here and uh, first let me create a material. Call it uh, one. Uh, I can just use a set material here. Just give it material of one. You can go up to our shader editor and start working on the material. You just give it first a nice, a nice yellow or orange like that. So if you look closely at this sheep, you can see that uh, the edges here a bit a bit more more burnt so they're like a bit more darker brown uh, than the rest of the chip so to mimic that i'm just going to go to this mesh and just unwrap it unwrap it like that uh, you can actually even just go to top view and use projection from view now the reason we are unwrapping it is because we want to use uh, the gradient texture uh, that comes with uh, a lin uh, spherical gradient and uh, this spherical gradient, if you use it, use it with a UV map, you can have the center, this gradient in the middle. So the, the center of the of this circle, UV gradient, is uh, located around the bottom left corner of your UV map. So if I scale this up, you should see that uh, we are getting that there. And I think I need to stretch this on the Y. Uh, basically, we, we're trying to get the a mask for these edges, and I'm just using a gradient texture with a UV map uh, to get that uh, without doing a lot of work. So that's how I did that. So now I can you can use a ramp uh, to get the colors you want. Uh, just going to try and make it look similar. I'm just going to connect this to the to that. And uh, one other thing I did is added a translucent, some translucence. Because these chips do not really have a lot of thickness. So I'm going to switch to the time lapse for a bit here because I want to show you some of the detail that I think I would just take too much time to explain step by step. But I also don't want to skip it. Uh, but uh, yeah, so. It's very basic stuff, uh, especially for the particle system. I did a few tricks uh, to get it to look better, and uh, the materials also added some uh, bit of details in the roughness and uh, the bump map using a noise texture, and uh, also added some extra colors in the uh, the color of the chip. Trick did a few tricks to get it to look right, uh, but uh, yeah, mostly that's it.